storage reservoir itself and the conduits that run under the city of Niagara. The starting of the of the upper plant there, the pump storage plant, and th this is the base where the turbines and again they have these mammoth cranes that roll back and forth to uh, bring in uh, the the concrete and the steel. Here are the pump storage generator turbines. These turbines are a generator when they flow in one direction and uh, and a motor. This again is the forebays of the dam and this controls the water that goes down into the penstocks. Generators being installed now as you can see the turbine bases are being put in and it'll be encased in the turbine is going to be put into the water comes in and it circulates around and it drops down and this uh, causes the wheel to be on the right are uh, uh, the gate or uh, the in intakes there the gates and the and the uh, penstock storage plant there now and you can see a lot of excavation work has been done uh, the canal this canal was cut out of solid rock so what you see there is solid rock this is another view of the canal which takes the water from the conduits and diverts it here it is the pump storage plant all done and the concrete aprons all in place and cause these uh, pumps there to pump the water into the reservoir we are on the bottom of the reservoir they're putting in crushed rocks to make a good solid base on the bottom this is the size of the equipment there that was used you can see they use some very large shovels here in order to excavate this rock two of the starting of the of the tunnels uh, this is the the tunnel end that's up by the canal here's a view of the uh, structure that is put up there to support the farms there to pour the roof of the canal as you can see this is a long canal that is going to divert the water from the Niagara River and bypass the falls and dump the water into the canal and pump the water up into the storage reservoir. Now there's the traveling farm there on the right. That farm travels along and they pour each block at a time and then they move the farm down and they are being poured now and the farm is underneath. And they have to build temporary bridges over this on the roadway so not to obstruct traffic. Here is the top of the tunnel you can see that's quite a mammoth piece of concrete and steel work involved there in order to support the tremendous weight that will be put on it. It will carry the water and underneath of course. The inside of the tunnel as you can see it's large enough to drive several trucks under, you know, under there. A matter of fact it's uh, probably Here is another view of the tunnel as the top was being poured. They pour the walls first and then they have these uh, traveling farms which they travel along and they pour the tops. Here is a view of the other end of the tunnel showing the intakes where the water comes from the Niagara and it's diverted through these down if they want to block the water off if they want to work in the tunnel and block the water they can do it at either end and they can work in the tunnel and use one tunnel while the other one is being worked on this, of course is made uh, with aluminum siding on it there to make its appearance